So today we're gonna to be playing NBA 2K24, my team starting with a brand new account. I'm playing games online, opening up whatever free packs we manage to get and using the little bit of MT we're able to come up with in order to build a team to go up against the God Squads of Unlimited. And we're not finishing until we complete the entire mode. And lads, I did this in one sitting, so I was not sleeping until I completed the mode. I'm not sleeping until we complete my team. That's gonna be a title of this video. I didn't sleep until I completed my team. So while we're opening up our free packs, you guys could subscribe, be greatly appreciated. And if you guys could leave a like, if we could beat the last week's like total, that'd be incredible. These videos take so, so long to make. Like I literally was up till four in the morning, not sleeping to finish this. And I'm editing this while on holiday. But yeah, we get nothing in these packs at all. Uh, I'm sorry, Ty. You gotta go. He's gotta go. So the first thing I like to do is quick sell the current series one cards from day one because they actually quick sell for way more than like you can buy emeralds for. What's the cheap, who are the cheapest players I can buy to still get, like make an unlimited team? I'm guessing it's like these guys. Like point guard, you can play a bit. I'm gonna make a clutch time team. You can play a shooting guard. Um. I'm probably gonna go to season three, season rewind one. I get him maybe a shooting guard, Terrence Mann at 875. Um, Jaime Hackwiz can probably play, survive a power forward. We were then able to sell our Wiseman to finish up our team. Ooh, what's he actually? No, Nick Laxon. Nick Laxon is the move. Like this team can survive, can't it? In the first game, we come up against a team way better than ours, but with no SPMM, I feel like I have a chance with my budget squad. That is the longest release ever. Oh my God, he made it. The reason I have the meter on is that I forgot to change my settings, so I'm playing on push instead of set point. Let's go, we're out here smacking whites, let's go. And I don't know how we managed to do it, but we won the first game, and the first thing I did was change my settings that I was not playing on a release timing I didn't know. I'm gonna have, oh, him, him, him. One, two, 50 for him as a backup point guard. So honestly, like our team is looking a little bit better. We obviously put in uh, Sohan in for Hackquiz for um, some of the clutch time games. Come up against an absolutely hell team right here. Like this is a borderline God squad. And I'm not gonna lie, like I start off well in this game. It's neck and neck. We end up getting a three point lead, but unfortunately my opponent just having the better team ends up winning and that's gonna happen. That's fine. I'm not expecting to win every game with this team I have. 2,000 empty for him? Oh my God. And obviously after getting Franz, I want Suggs because I can get two diamonds. So I end up quick selling their, a lot of the remaining cards in order to get enough empty for him. That should be enough for Suggs. My collection. Tis the season. Jalen Suggs right here. Um, for 2,000 MT, like. So our team is looking 100 times better. It is crazy how good the budget cards were in the Tis the season set. Okay, we've got easy squad right here. It was a pretty nice first game right here. A nice and easy win. And we do earn quite a bit of MT from these. Like even coming up against a God squad like this guy's right here. Like we don't need to be winning these games. We're getting the guts of a thousand even on a loss, which isn't too bad. And maybe sometimes 2000 on a win. But at least even being competitive in this game, it did help us work our way towards building our team for Unlimited. I actually like Tyre Easton. Tyre Easton's got more size. So Tyre Easton, you can come in. Like just to make, we're gonna make quite a lot of MT out of Unlimited here, and we can make our start on our points. Like this team sucks, but like, it's gonna have to do, I guess. So yeah, we end up starting our Unlimited journey within like 25 minutes, which is crazy. We built a team, not a very good team, but a team that I feel like I can at least go out there and win sometimes with. But lads, the reason why I'm showing you this screen is I spent three hours on this screen over the course of this video. Yes, three hours. So this took me 12 hours and three hours and we're spent in the loading screen. Thankfully, the first game is against a very weak opponent. Dunk it. People don't realize Jalen Suggs' dunk animations are stupid. Like, he still competes. You can compete with Jalen Suggs against the best of the best right now. But yeah, like even with the budget squads I'm running with, my opponent obviously wasn't playing, but I can beat not great players. Like using the budget squads that I have coming up against kind of weaker players, I'm still very confident. I'm confident coming up against overall teachers, even budget squads. Because, like, while I'm by, I'm far from the best 2K player in the world, I'm not too bad at playing with weaker players. Like, I'm the one guy that's like, if you give me the best squad in the game or a budget squad, there's not going to be that much of a difference in the level that I play at. I can sell him as well. I don't need him. Just add gold and then buy Rihachi more, I guess. Because, like, eventually I'm probably going to buy Austin Reeves. Because Austin Reeves can actually still cook no matter what. 
on a few weeks and a few games. So yeah, we added PJ Tucker and we added Rui Hachimura. They end up being big additions, especially PJ Tucker. I'm not joking, PJ Tucker hooped for us. So again, we're facing a not particularly great team right here. Tari Eason hitting a three early. He was someone that I did struggle with throughout this video. Like when Tari Eason played, he was great on defense. I struggled with that jump shot. PJ Tucker was just a beast all around. But again, the likes of Tari Eason against a squad like this was just too much. I think genuinely, I just had too much for a lot of squads like this. This guy was obviously trying to be a little bit cute with his overall cheesing, but he wasn't good enough to weaker players. And we win very comfortably and get our second rage quick. And it's funny, one of the stars from another video is unneeded in this. I really don't want that with this Dwayne Wade. And between our second and third game, we were waiting on this screen for 11 minutes. That should be a dub here. Yeah, he's using... Oh, I like it. I respect it. I respect it. Man's using the 1999 Knicks. Love your team, man. I absolutely love the fact you're running with the 1999 Knicks. Uh, hopefully this is a good game. Appreciate a, appreciate a like creative squad when I see one. So starting off this game, I actually am playing really well. Like my opponent's not a bad player, but like I was hooping. I was absolutely hooping. Like his squad was very weak. And like you can see right here from this play, this guy actually knew what he was doing. Good defense, Suggs. Nice move. That's my shot. Oh, that's a hell shot right there. He actually had a really good record and was just obviously just playing with squad that he liked, which I have so much respect for, but this was probably the best I had played all day up to this point. I'm hooping in this game. I'm absolutely hooping. This is the best I've played today. And honestly, as this game went on, we pulled further and further away. Like, I wasn't focusing too much, but at the same time, I did have to respect my opponent because if I completely switched off, he would score on me. But a 33-point win in the end, and to be fair, I played pretty well in that one. We then get a deluxe unsellable pack from the Vault, and we don't get anything from it at all, really. We didn't get anything from any of these so far. And like the Inferno Deluxe pack. Genuinely, I just wanted DeAndre Ayton from this pack. This was from Unlimited. Okay. That's the worst thing we can get. It's the worst thing we can get. $10 per single set, yeah. Ooh. Do I keep him or sell? He's a big upgrade on our bench. I might keep, you know. But James Jones does come into the squad as our backup shooting guard. Player, we're gonna have to probably replace our centers next. What's the best center I can get for like 15, 20? Like, is it going to back and getting, um, what's his name? Is it gonna go to Inferno and buying him? 11K, I can get him after my next game. I'll probably get him and then I'll really like Varajou too. 16. Varajou's expensive. Show us how that the servers are. We take a five minute break and we end up facing the same guy again. If you're not here for me getting, if you're not here for me getting insulted by chat and then me insulting chat back, you've obviously never been in a DBG stream before. So I wasn't really focusing on, I was just going back and forth with my chat at this stage while live streaming. But you know what? If you want to laugh and call pushing 30 old, I'm going to laugh. You're, it's going to happen to you sooner than you think. Doesn't feel like it's been that long since I was a 16-year-old. Since I was 18-year-old, dub gaming. Talking like, what is going on, guys? DBG here, or dub gaming here. What's going on, guys? It's Mick here, aka dub gaming. I'm in my, par in my bedroom in my parents' house. And it'll happen to you, too. I was young once in this community. It'll happen to you too. We then go pick up eight, and I'm not gonna lie, I get rid of Klax instead of Lively because Klax sucks. Honestly, you go out of team. Lively's doing better than you. We actually face a really nice overall cheese squad right here. Like, some weird players, but I don't mind it at all. But surprisingly enough, after one layup, this guy just says, nah, I'm out of here. He just quit. No, please give me my dub. Give me my dub. Got my dub. Can I just get something from this pack? Five tokens. Irrelevant to me. Grayson Allen. Oh, what can I get? That's, 2950 gets me that. Like, we're, we're going to Middleton. If we go 20-0 for Middleton, I'll take it. If we can get MBJ before Middleton, it'd be great, but we're not going to do it. 
And again, we wait another 15 minutes on a loading screen. Like, that is legitimately one quarter of the time I spent live on stream was waiting and loading screens. The next game, we ended up playing and winning by 16, which is a pretty easy win. And yeah, afterwards, we are looking through and we pick up one of my favorite players in the entire game, Julian Strader. Ironically, you'll see later on the video that Ruby Cards carried us. Ruby Cards honestly carried us through this entire video. And the next game, we face against the same dude again with that uh, overall cheese squad to quit after a layup. And this time he quits on lineup screen, which is very, very annoying. Next game, we do face a not great team at all, if I'm being honest. But 2K25 probably will start well as well. But the whole thing is that their mentality towards the game isn't. Let's. It used to be, I always felt, making a good game and making money were both of equal priorities to the My Team Dev team. Whereas now, I'm not even sure making a good game is in the priority list. It's only money. And we got a nice and early lead right here. A big shot from PJ Tucker, and they do decide to quit the game at 18 to 6, which is, again, very early, but I was still probably going to win. We're now 7 and 0, oh, which is a crazy, crazy start. Facing another very weak opponent. We're facing a starter here. The guy's got the free agent Kobe. He's got his Shaquille O'Neal. But you know what he doesn't have? He doesn't have Atari. Oh, Atari's kind of suck. He doesn't have a PJ Tucker or anyone like that. He quit early as well. And an 8-0, 8-0 start. Like, for me, this is crazy. Like, 8-0 is not something that just happens normally for me. And another 23-24 deluxe pack. Like, I'm just hoping for, like, an Embiid or something. We get Marcus Sasser. We face the same dude again right here. And I tried to pause him and make him have to wait the one minute so I get the win. And now he quit again. It was the guy who quit after a layup. Yeah, so he quit two out of three times I played him. But eventually, we do end up getting enough MT to get Anderson Barrage out. And that means that our weakest position, which is center, is now pretty much set with Aiton and Varsha. Although, you'll see later on, Aiton really was not very good for me at all. So this guy right here had a hundred times better squad than me. But we do start off on fire. And he was on the mic from start to finish in this game. Even though I had a bit of a leader. Why did you even talk you trash, motherfucker? Did you see your players? You, you were a f garbage man <laughs> you're a f garbage man and i probably spoke too soon because he was just a cheeser like i can't do anything about that like i was doing well eventually we managed to pull it back and we actually tied the game like we tied it at least but down the stretch the cheesiness of victor Wembanyama, i just couldn't deal with it and we got beaten I would take, I'll take plant an L against someone that outplayed me. I will not take, I'm not happy taking an L against a, like that dude. So coming off our first loss, we don't face a great opponent. The guy's got Sapphire Anthony Simons in his team, so I'm not worried at all. And this might be one of the worst players I've played that's stuck in the game for quite a bit. Like you can see there, we hit an easy three with Aiden. We are 41 to three up. Make that 44 to three up. And in the end, we win by like 60 points. And I was barely trying. D. Serik, Monte Ellis, Bradley Beal, Carmelo Anthony, Jokic, Opal, and Dino Raja. This is the weirdest overall season team I've ever seen. I mean, this is the odd. Like, he's got Beal, which means he obviously has the guys. What the hell? Who is he running this team for? Unless this guy streams time, of course. So it is here. I'm not going to lie. It was a strange team. Like he had, so, he surely had so many better diamonds if he had Bradley Beal because Bradley Beal is not easy to get. I don't know if this guy was running a squad builder or what, but he actually wasn't a bad player. It was just, he had a huge Dino Raja problem. That's all I can say is the man had a massive, massive Dino Raja problem. And we were able to just expose that. Like it was quite close for a while, but as the game went on, we were starting to pull away even more. And even though he was hitting some tough shots, I just never felt like this was, like, I never not, didn't feel comfortable. I always felt like every time this got close, I could just hit a three with Strader and go and win the game, which, to be fair, that's pretty much what happened. So 10-1, and one, and we're not even halfway there. We face the same guy again, and he quits before the game starts. Just at least let me get into the game, man. We got Tony Allen. He clamps, I guess. Who's my opponent got? Cam Reddish, Dyson Daniels, 28-19. and 19. I can't see the difference between these jerseys, by the way. So we start off pretty well right here. Oh, Suggs. Don't do that to him. And while we do have a little bit of a lead early in the game, he, it was after the first quarter that he started rack cutting. 
And once I was able to build up a bit of a lead, he began rat cutting on every single possession. There's no way I just lost the ball like that. Oh, and I didn't get that. Oh my God, there's no way. There's no way that I just that just happened. I have a chance to make it 10, and then we get BS twice. There's no way! He pressed square! Oh my god. Oh my god. This game's so bad. He pressed square. His hand was there. I'm like, cool. His hand's gone. He can't press square again. And he literally, literally just decided, I'm going to stand there. Just hand the ball to him. Holy mother of god. This game's bad. As soon as I can afford Mo Bamba, he's gone. And I can't afford him now. He should be gone already. Hey, Bam is killing Aiden. Aiden's a trash can. Aiden played big in the blowout game. Yeah. That's all Aiden does. They got Aiden perfect. They got Aiden perfect. Like, he can ball out in in a freaking blowout game. But when it matters, he's going to be a, our worst player. You fumble the ball, please. You... You're so bad. There's actually something wrong with him. Like, I don't actually know if, the, if he's all right in the head. It's all DeAndre Ayton. The only reason I'm losing is because of DeAndre Ayton. Oh, yeah, Varajet. That's what he's in the game for. On the biggest possession of the game right here, we get an open lane with Julian Strader. Dunk it, please. Why did you not take a layup or a dunk? What the f*** are you doing? And, yeah, I was rattled. Oh, my God. I had a layup and dunk. You rat. You f rat. It's honestly just not possible to stop. You f rat. You f rat. Make the layup. Make the f layup, you absolute bum. So bad. You've made an Irish person say the word trash ass. What the f is that so we're two points down we get a steal with varjo tie game let's go and in the last possession i know exactly what's coming i just made a terrible read you rat you absolute rat and we make the perfect read off this inbound play and get a slowdown no this is my reaction to the game reading that as a contest i got a slowdown i got a slowdown and a wide open I literally didn't tie that game because I got a wide open and you gave me a slow down because you registered as an open and not a wide open. You're getting as far away from my team as possible. Um, Miles Turner or Mo Bamba, lads? So I was actually going kind of 50-50 on what to do, so I let my chat decide. They told me to go with Mo Bamba and it was, trust me, it was the right decision. And James Jones has got to go too, yeah. And to get our guy, we need to quick sell our last remaining gold players. I'm going to go with Leonard Miller. Start Leonard Miller instead. Denny, Bilal Koulibaly, Jay and McDaniels, Chris Webber and Joel Embiid. So first game with the brand new squad and we are playing against a decent enough opponent with an okay team, but I'm cooking. Someone in my chat challenged me to hit three threes in a row with PJ Tucker. Does that count as one? Oh no, yeah, does that count as one? Two for two. Sup, please. Three for three. Thank you for the gift, I really appreciate that. These goals are literally like I genuinely went through him. Like, they're not even basketball players. They genuinely aren't even basketball players. I just went through him. So a nice and easy 30-point win right there. And we're actually just gone over halfway to getting Chris Middleton. I played this dude. This is the dude that I lost because of... This is the rat. This is the rat. And we're coming up against him again. We have a chance of redemption against the rat right here. And that's all he's gonna do every possession is back cut. And I can't you you can't actually stop it. As you saw there, I onballed it. Like he's a rat. He's an absolute rat. He's the biggest rat I've played in a long time. Might be the biggest rat I've played since they got rid of the automatic rat cuts. Just whim him. Good. Good Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba's already had a better game. Has done more good things than What's his name, dude? And yeah, this goes and happens at an important time. What the f*** are you doing? Oh. What is this? It's wide open. It's his shot. Come on, Franz. Let's go. We're down two to end the third and get the luckiest layup ever. Good steal. Let's go. That's the first time he's been punched in a long time. Green. There we go, Julian Strader. That's what you do. And down the stretch, we have a little bit of a lead and Julian Strader is hooping. He is absolutely hooping for us. That's Julian Strader. That is what Julian Strader is in the game for. Come on. What's he doing? It's a ball game. What's he doing? My God, that back cutting. I forgot to hit record, but I got a diamond option pack just there from Unlimited. The two players I chose were Peja and Jonathan Isaac. 
But um, no, Peja and Isaac from that option pack were definitely the two right ones to get. Um, because Peja quick sells for 38k. And that's literally a Kawhi. And Isaac quick sells for 47k. It gives us 97k. Which allows us to buy him. And him. Like we're probably going to be facing tougher opponents here as well. Yeah, I like this lineup. Oh, my team being significantly better, we come up against myself. What? Am I playing me? Why does he have my PSN name? He's a hacker. He's a hacker. If you're a stream sniper. We got stream sniped by, the, honestly, the person who I was using to build up their alternate accounts. And while I'm playing well, my opponent was e playing equally as well. That's kind of hell. I'm not going to lie. Buckets in the second half began to cook me. He absolutely destroyed me. But thankfully, uh, gave me the win. See, so we Wade, Terry Rozier. Is this Miami? No. Okay, I'll beat this guy. I'm cruising early in this game. Booker with 22 points in the first half and a big lead. And he drops down. If I give him three points because Devin Booker got injured. And we were actually struggling for quite a while without Devin Booker. But in the end, Julian Strader just did Julian Strader things. And Sugg stepped up and had a pretty good end of the game. And we win relatively comfortable by the end of things. And yeah, we actually finally get something really good from the Unlimited Vault after this. Wait, come on. What a pull. What a pull. So thankfully we had enough injury cards that we didn't have to rest Devin Booker and he only had 11 games. We eventually got them all done. Next game we face against a very nice squad here. All around beast of a team. And yeah, this Luka was just hell. Terrible. That's such a dumb take. This guy's going to do something dumb at every possession, isn't he? got away with it. Eventually we did start to do a better job of him just running straight, straight through my body. But like, can't say we did a good job, just better. Oh, yeah, uh, BJ Tucker. We're back to three right here. This guy is definitely kind of freaked out a bit here. Because they're going to leave PJ Tucker open for three again. And even with the PJ Tucker masterclass, we're still down coming in towards halftime. And he's still getting crazy layups by just turboing to the basket. That's an awful shot. That's the worst take you can possibly make. And he got it. That's so dumb. He just greened to 100% smothered. I how. How am I meant to stop that? Oh, good def- Oof. He got very lucky on that one. Let me attack him. There's no one- there's, He had his back turned. He just turned his head. I'm like, yeah, there's no help there. Of course, he goes and- With his back turned, just puts his hand up against the block. With a CPU as well. The CPU as well. Like, again, if it's a person controlling a player and if they're back turn, I don't really care. If it's a CPU, I'll be angry. Dunk it. No! Mid-range. Come on, Varjo! What a smart shot, Mick. And turns out this was a stream sniper as well. And fair play to everyone who stream sniped me. They didn't stream snipe me to beat me, which I do appreciate that. But that was a hell of a game right there. And we're coming up against this team right here. And this is rough two opals two pink diamonds and every possession 50 million rack cuts that is all this guy did every single possession is all that he could do you rat you have the you have an all pink diamond team and you have to resort to rack cutting man i was getting so frustrated although i was playing okay he just had the better players and we did pull it back towards the end of the first though green there we go strader let's go and this is why I hate playing on stream. One comment completely threw me off my game right here. Like, I can't. How am I meant to stop this? This should be an easy game. You make it a f easy game. Like, not against a guy who back cuts sometimes. A full rat. Carlo221 won 50 grand just from rat cutting. But no, no one could beat him because he held the damn triangle button. And it's even more overpowered this year because defense even worse off the ball. And yeah, 15 to 3 now after a loss right there. His team was better, but I just. I was just in a bad way. Like, we had a long wait, thankfully, between games. 
And we faced the same guy again, but he didn't have Jordan. And this time I was hoping, surely I couldn't lose to him with a worse squad. Julian Strotter again. Let's go. Make the layup. Oh my God. He was proven that it doesn't matter who you use. Just send back cuts, you know, score. Like his players can do that. Can dunk on mine. Tired. My players with full stamina can't do anything to his guys. Come on, PJ Tucker. That's huge. Let's go. We thankfully do have control in this game after a big shot there by David Robinson. And once he goes down, he has to start going for threes. And that's where we are looking great. He's no longer able to rack cut. And well, we have Julian Strader on our team. Oh, yeah, Mobamba. That's how we end the a win right there. Oh, we beat the rat. Okay, so I'm already facing the God squads, which means maybe getting rid of Varage out for AD is probably the move. Yeah, Anthony Davis in for Varage out, I think, is definitely the move. As good as Varage has been, ain't no AD. So we make the final big upgrade for our team right here, selling a few of our players to pick up one of the best wings in the entire game still. I'm going to get rid of Leonard Miller as well. I'm um, going to buy this dude. Kawahi Leonard. Kawahi into our team. Leonard Miller, you're coming out right here. And our team is looking so much better right here. Sure, there are two rubies, but those two rubies have been two of my best players so far today. We come up against a very easy opposition right here where Julian Strader and Devin Bucker force him into a very easy rage quit for a 17-3 and record. We then face a real tough team. And this guy's got the guys. Like, he's got Porzingis. He's got... Uh, Pink Diamond, Kawhi, he's got everybody, but it doesn't matter. We're just we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for most of the game, and he brought it back by rack cutting. As expected, it's unstoppable. I'm open. I'm open. Come on. Best player in the game. That's what he's there for. And thankfully, we did beat by far the best team we came up to against today. And we do go and pick up two rubies. Hopefully, we can get a opal in this maestro pack right here that's free ah chris weber helped us out a bit will we get something good it's like one in ten chance for pink diamond now we get nothing we got shit and then we face the rat again using his best team now is our real chance for revenge and early on in the game we're actually going a lot to julian strader but i'm having to attack the basket because he is stopping the three he knows what i'm trying to do but we do keep it close towards the end of the first. He just does that one move in the corner every time. He literally rack cuts, and if he doesn't get the rack cut, gives it to the corner and does the same move. We haven't had any real first half leads, but we haven't let our opponent pull it away, mainly because of Julian Strader. Big shot, Strader. Come on, that's why you're in the game. Donkey Chris Webber. Come on, that's what we need to do. That's what we need. Tie game. Julian Strader is still carrying our team, but we make a real dumb play with a chance for the lead. That's green. It has to be a foul if it's not green. And I fouled him. Of course, I put him on the line. And I'm telling you guys, it was the rubies that carried us here. Can we clip him? We clipped him. Green. Come on, PJ Tucker. Let's go. But my opponent was still able to get to the basket, whether it be from running through us, that spin move, rack cutting, or just running through me. But we stayed within touching distance, and we had what I thought was open, a shot with Strider. He's nowhere near me. Good dunk, Julian Strider. Come on. And I had a wide open shot for a two point lead with D Rob. I lost this game because I missed two wide opens with David Robinson. Simple as that. And I'm not going to lie, I was completely boxed on this possession and also trying to rush a open shot. That's off. Oh my God, I just hit a red, with, green to red with Dave, Devin Booker. David Robinson, don't let him in. Probably, he, we are allowing him to switch back here. David Robinson! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Good hand, Mick. My ball. 19 and 3. 19 and 3. Let's go. So, yeah, we were one win away from both Chris Middleton and Michael Porter Jr. And in this game right here, we came against a team that I thought was a gambler. Turns out it was someone who just locked in two collections. And I normally don't like giving the gamblers any satisfaction, so I'll quit on them if I think they're going to beat me. But I did it this time, and I probably shouldn't have. You know, I'm not giving this guy the... It's my first quit. I'm not giving this guy the pleasure. And after this game right here with a 19-4 to record, we have to wait 20 minutes until we did get stream sniped by all that jazz. And a bit of an anticlimactic way of ending this. A bit of an anticlimax, not gonna lie, but still, uh, we get the dub. And with that, we had to wait to see if we were finished. We got the points. 70-50. 252! 
We did it! We did it! Galaxy Opal Chris Middleton. Galaxy Opal MPJ. So anyway, that is the video. That was the longest 12 hours of my life, but thankfully we got it completed. And thankfully I'm done editing early and I can go and sit by the pool right now.